Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I have also have my Vilcabamba. I'm in uh, Vilcabamba, Ecuador, and I wanted to explain they have a what is this? Uh, free free English lessons for. Yes. Uh, what One World Vilcabamba is is a foundation, foundation. a legal Ecuadorian foundation that uh, runs programs on behalf of the community. And one of the largest programs we run is free English classes. Oh, for, so you have more than one type of thing. Yes, we have a traveling library. Uh, we better go slow. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, my name is Lori Miller, and my husband and I founded. Uh, my name. My name is Paulo. Speak English. Uh, my name is Paulo. Okay. And you guys are working together, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Paul is the director of the foundation, and my husband and I are founders and board members, and the three okay. of us work together. But it's an Ecuadorian foundation. It's an Ecuadorian so foundation. So an American couldn't donate to it and get tax right off in America, right? That's correct. Okay. Um, and uh, what, are you, what are you doing right now as you're promoting what? We're, this is enrollment for our summer free English course. Okay. How long a course is it? It's an eight-week course. Okay. Wait a minute. You guys get together closer. Oh, and put the sign. Yeah? We're trying to make sure you get everything in here at the same time. Okay. I'm, I don't edit these things. <laughs> okay. All right. Are, are we close enough? Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, okay. But I uh, want to make sure you get the logo and everybody can recognize how to get it. You got it on your shirts, yes. too. Okay, so you and your husband started the foundation. Yes, about four and a half years ago. And you lived in Ecuador for how long? Um, I've been here full-time for five years, my husband for nine years. Okay, nine years and five years. Yes. And are you Bill Obama? Yeah, I'm from here. I've lived here all my life. And uh, are you a teacher also? Yes, I work as a director and also as a teacher uh, with old age, seven to nine and adults. Yeah, How, what grades are, I mean, what ages are it? Uh, seven to nine, ten to thirteen, teens and adults. And how big a classes are they? Uh, up, up to 20, but averages 12 to 15 students in a class. Um, and it's for how many weeks now? I forgot. At the summer course is for eight weeks. During the school year, we run two 12-week courses. Are there, I think there's also English courses in the school, right? Uh, that's a little bit complicated. In the high school, they have English, but not a lot. In the elementary schools, uh, they're theoretically teaching English, but there's no budget for a teacher, so they're no teachers. You know, one of, one of the things, I've been backpacking for 16 plus years, and uh, one of the things that people like to do is volunteer to teach English. Yes. Do you need volunteers to teach English? Uh, we do. In fact, we... One of our roles is to facilitate volunteer teachers in the schools that go a couple of times a week. Okay, so the actual... English, not only in the larger schools in the center here, but in the smaller schools in the outlying barrios. Okay. Which also don't have any English. Okay. Um, and you're, are you talking like one of the schools here? One of the schools is over here, Trece de Abril. Okay, hold on one second. We're right here next to the uh, Catholic Church in the center, and there's a church right at the end of the street here. I mean a school at the end of the school, and there's another one across the bridge there, right? Well, that's the high school. There's another elementary school two blocks up here. Oh, I keep learning about more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the high school is... Okay, how do they contact you? How do volunteers contact me? You have my email address on the back of your card. Okay, <laughs> it's right here, guys. Hold on, we got to go five seconds so they have time enough to read it. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, so you would take volunteers, and they could call you directly from the uh, United States or whatever, and you want yeah. you want native speakers. Yes, or um, we've had English speakers from European countries that have been good teachers. We, we the main criteria is to want to teach. And okay. We provide support as far as um, getting started in curriculum. And okay. And how much does it cost for one of these teachers to live here? What's the minimum? Um, okay, hotels start here out around ten to twelve dollars a night and go up to about twenty five and if you really want to go high you can go to Sierra Madre and pay uh, Terra Terra Madre and pay seventy nine dollars, but Ishikaluma is about thirty five dollars. So it's a really affordable and you can rent an apartment here for right around a, a room with a kitchen or something for right around one hundred and fifty to two fifty. Real easy. Yes. That's good information. Okay. We got it. So if you want to contact her, I'll put these numbers and stuff in uh, on my Vilcabamba, and I'll put it also on. Um
underneath in the YouTube uh, description. You can find all these numbers and stuff. Thank you. Oh, you have a website too, right? No. Oh, no. We you got a face, <laughs> face, Facebook page. We take volunteers that help with website development too. Facebook page. What's your Facebook page? page. One World Vilcabamba. One World is... Okay, is I'll, I'll world, focus yeah. in on this and say goodbye to you guys. Okay. Thank you. Adio. We can